I don't know Cromartie. It's so funny. I only know Antonio Cromartie, the corner, the former cornerback for the New York Jets. Wow. I think he had nine children. Well, good for him. Yeah. I have to roll up women because I'm making Virgo. Boop, boop, boop. Fourteen kids. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of kids. How many, like, and I do not want to, uh, disparage anyone else's life choices. I don't know, I, I, you know, no, no judgment, no criticizing. How many kids do you think is too many kids? <laughs> I don't, yeah, that's a good question. Just from a, like, a, from a purely, like, there can't be enough hours in the day. To, to spend with. I feel like you them. gotta be a full-time dad at that point. To At that point? <laughs> at like four. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't I don't think 13 to 14 is the, uh, the line. Yeah. At least for me. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess there's just some people that think of raising kids as like a different thing that- Because to me it's like, oh my god, if I'm not- if I have a child, and I'm not, like, available to it... Yeah. What the fuck? I'm gonna ruin that child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think there's a lot of people that are like, Eh, I'll figure it out. Yeah. And, like, they're probably right to an extent. Like Sean Connery in Indiana Jones. I taught you self-reliance. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of people that believe that. Yeah, it's... And I think there's some truth to it. But I don't necessarily agree with it. But what am I if I don't fucking have kids? Yeah. What the hell do I know? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's like. I hope to. It, 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 I think if I had more than two kids, I, I think my head might explode. Two point five. That's. I don't want a half a kid. That is the regular. The, that is the uh, statistic. Well, I don't like. Although we're not, it is going down. We're not going like over under on Vegas odds or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Give me 2.5! Yeah. Shit! Snake eyes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, hopefully I will know at some point um, what it's like to have kids, but... Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't envision... I certainly can't envision having, like, eight kids and thinking, like, I think six more. And we'll be good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's just a totally different mindset. I, I feel like if you, I mean maybe there are people of course there are people like that, but I feel like if you have 14 kids, it's more just kinda like, I'm pregnant again. Like, oh okay. That's wonderful, you know? It's not like we're going to have 14 kids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. If we have 15, we're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Thirteen, not happy enough. I want two sets of octuplets. <laughs> if we don't get that, we're trying again! <laughs> it is... it's wild, man. I have a very high chance of having twins. Is that right? Yes. Oh yeah, because Susie's a twin. My wife is a twin, mm -hmm. and I have twins in my family. Really? And my uncles are twins. Goodness me. So... That's... You know, that's gotta be wild. Yeah. I feel like the jump between, like, having no babies and two babies is uh, a a <laughs> big mental jump. Yeah, big, big jump. Yeah. And there's so much... I mean, based on what I know about living with a twin for the last... 18 years or so. Yep. Um... It's, uh... I feel like there's a lot you can do wrong. Where it's like, oh my god, I wish my fucking parents didn't do this because I'm a fucking twin. You know, like... Like, I mean, there's like the, there's the obvious shit where it's like, dressing him in the same outfit. Like, right. that kind of stuff. Right. But then there's like other stuff where it's like, well, you know, they treated me a little differently in this circumstance, and that really pissed me off. And it's like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I'm... It's gotta be difficult to treat... two uh, of your children, like, perfectly equally in yeah. all situations. Well, especially when, like... So much of... Like, their existence is, like, being compared to each other. Yeah. 
w whether that's intentional or not. Like, it just fucking happens in society. Sure. People can't help it. Which is unfortunate. I, dude, I mean, it's, it's just so shocking. I remember yeah. the first time I met Susie's twin, because I walked into a room and saw her there. Uh, and, like, my brain just wasn't thinking, like, that's not Susie, you know? Like, yeah. or there's a possibility that that's not Susie. I was just like, hey, Susie. And then, like, Susie popped up from another part of the room, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a science fiction movie. Yeah. I can so easily tell them apart now. I mean, yeah, sure, once you know them. But, like, going in totally cold. Especially if you don't know that, like, the other one's in town. <laughs> it's very shocking to me. That would be very funny. Yeah. This is my favorite Katamari song. Yeah, this one's great. It's so good. Um, I think it's called Rolling Star. Lonely Rolling Star. Nice. <laughs> 